awesome YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a Freddy statue from Five Nights at Freddy's. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You will need some black wool, some brown wool, you'll also need some white wool, and finally grab yourself some red wool. Those are the only four colours that you're going to be needing, so once you have those and once you've figured out where you want to make them, I'll be making them right here. You're going to want to kick off your Freddy statue with a row of eight brown wool in a row on the floor. That's eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. And once you have your row of eight brown wool, this is what you want to do next. Place a row of eight black wool directly on top of your base row of brown. Like so. For the next three rows, you want to do three solid rows of brown wool. So that's one, two, three, and one, two, three. For the next row, you want to do an entire row of black wool. For the next two rows, do two rows of brown wool. So that's one and two. One, two. For the next row, do two black wool in the two center spots of the row, and then make the rest of the row brown. For the next row, do two brown in the center spots of the row, do a single black either side of the brown, and then fill the entire rest of your row in with brown wool. For the next row, do four brown wool in the four center spots of the row, and then fill the entire rest of your row in with black wool. For the next row, place a single black wool on the ends of your row, and then fill the entire center part in with brown wool, giving you something which should look, in total, a little bit like this. These are Freddy's legs. Once you've got those taken care of, we can now move on to the torso. So, coming all the way back up to the top of Freddy's legs, for the first row of Freddy's torso, just do an entire row of brown wool. For the next row, place a single brown wool on the ends of the row, and then fill the entire center part in with black wool. For the next row, we're doing the inverse of this. Place a single black on the ends of the row, and then fill the entire center part in with brown wool. For the next six rows, do six solid rows of brown wool. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, and finally six. Once you have your six rows of brown wool, for the next row, place two brown in the two center spots of the row. Place a single black wool either side of that brown, and then place brown wool on the last remaining open spaces. For the next row, do two black wool in the two center spots of the row. Place a single black wool on the ends of the row, and then place brown everywhere else. Now for the final row of the top of the torso, you want to do... Uh, it's probably easier to build this going from left to right. I was, I was trying to figure out a clever way to do this, but there really isn't one. So going from left to right for the final row of the torso, do one black wool, one brown wool, one black wool, two brown wool, one black wool, one brown wool, one black wool to give you something which should, in total, look a little bit like this. So, that is what you want to have for Freddy's torso in its entirety. Once you've got that taken care of, we can now move on to Freddy's arms. So, coming to the right-hand side of Freddy, and coming all the way down to the first row of the torso, this row right here, take out your brown wool and do a row of four, coming out from the right-hand side of your statue. So, that's one, two, three, four. That's the first row of Freddy's arm. Placing up on top of this row, do another row of brown wool. Then do a row of black wool. Then do three more rows of brown wool. So that's one, two, and three. Then do another row of black wool. 
Then do three more rows of brown wool. So that's one, two, and three. For the next two rows, going from left to right, simply do one black wool, then three brown wool. And same for the next row as well. One black wool and three brown wool. That is what you want to have for Freddy's right arm. Once you've got that taken care of, we can now move on to the other arm. So coming over to the left hand side of Freddy, coming all the way down to the first row of the torso, once again this row right here, going left this time of this block, do a row of four brown walls. So that's one, two, three, four. Then up on top of the first row of Freddy's arm, do another row of brown wool followed by a row of black wool. Then do three rows of brown wool, so that's one, two, and three. Then do another row of black wool. Then do three rows of brown wool, so that's one, two, and three. And finally, for the next two rows of Freddy's arm going from left to right, do three brown wool, one black wool. And for the next row as well, Three brown wool, one black wool to give you something which should in total look a little bit like this. Just to show you Freddy's torso with his arms attached. Very simple indeed. Once you've got those taken care of, you have actually fully completed the front half of your statue. Once you have reached this point right here, we can now move all the way over to the back of our statue. And that's exactly what you want to do. Come all the way to the back of your statue and come all the way down to the base of it. Take out your brown wool and coming out from each end of the base of your statue, you want to do two rows of free brown wool coming towards where the back of your statue should be. So from the left hand side, one, two, three, and from the right hand side as well, one, two, three. You then want to connect both of those third blocks together, which should give you something that should look a little bit like this, an upside down table shape or a U shape. This is basically just the entire base of your statue. For the next part, we're just going to be building up on top of these eight back blocks. Then we'll fill in the sides a little later on. So, for the second row of the back of our statue building up on top of these eight back blocks, do an entire row of black wool. Followed by three rows of brown wool. So that's one, two, and three. Then do a row of black wool. For the next two rows, do two rows of brown wool. So that's one, two, and one, two. For the next row, do two black wool in the two center spots of the row, and then fill the entire rest of it in with brown wool. For the next row, do two brown wool in the two center spots of the row, do a single black either side of your brown, and then fill the entire rest of your row in with brown wool. For the next row, fill the four center spots in with brown wool, and then fill the entire rest of your row in with black. For the final row of the back of the legs, place a single black wool on the ends of the row and then just fill the entire center of it in with brown wool to give you something which should look a little bit like this. And they should look a little bit familiar to you as they are just a direct copy of the front of the legs. And once you have those taken care of, we can now move up to Freddy's back. So coming all the way up to the top of the back of Freddy's legs, for the first row of Freddy's back, do an entire row of brown wool. Then for the next row, place a single brown on the ends of the row, and then place black wool everywhere else in between. For the next row, place a single black wool on the ends of the row, and then place brown wool everywhere else in between. And now for the next seven rows, do seven rows of brown wool. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and finally seven rows of brown wool. Now for the next two rows, place a single black wool 
on the ends of your row and then just fill the center part in with brown and as I said for the next two rows so just place two black wool coming up from each end of the row and then just fill the center in with brown wool and once you've finished you should end up with something that should look a little bit like this just to show you the entire back so once you've got that taken care of, the only thing that we have left to do for the back is the back of the arms, which are going to be extremely simple. And here's why. The back of the arms are just direct copies of the front of the arms, so all you have to do is just copy block for block exactly what you can see in front of you. You just have to look straight forward at what you've just done a few minutes ago and just copy exactly what you've done directly onto the back of your statue. Same thing applies to both arms, we're just taking care of the right one now. Exact same thing, very very simple, nothing complicated about this whatsoever, no instructions required. So I'm just going to finish off this second arm here and then we can get cracking with the rest of the statue. So this is what you want to have in total for the entire back of your Freddy statue. That is what you want to have. And once you've got that taken care of, we can now move on to the sides of our statue. So coming over to this side of the statue first, coming all the way down to the bottom of the legs, here's what you want to do. The sides of the statue are very easy as well. You see how we have two missing colors here in the middle of our statue? All you need to do to fill in these colors is just match the colors in the middle to the colors that we have on the front and back of the statue. So for example here, black. For the next few rows, brown. Here, black. Next few rows, brown, etc, etc, and you just want to keep on matching the colors. So for example, there is the side of the leg, you're just matching the middle color to the front and back color, and once you've done that to the side of the legs, you want to do the exact same thing for the arms as well. So just match the colors that you have on the front and back of the statue and just throw them in between. It is as simple as that, nothing hard about this whatsoever. So just to show you guys the side of the arm as well, how it all applies. That's the side of the arm, the exact same thing as the side of the leg. Uh, coming up to the top of the shoulder, we do a very similar thing here as well. Just match the brown to brown and match the black to black, just like that. That's what you want to have for the top of the shoulder. Although you only have to come in by three, so that's one, two, three. You don't have to do it for that uh, second little bit of black that I put there, but I did anyway. So that's all you want to have for the top of the shoulder, just to show you the entire side of the statue in its entirety. Very simple indeed. As I said, it's just a case of matching the colors. And once you've done that to one side of your statue, you want to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the opposite side of your statue. So coming over to this side now, uh, I feel as though I'm doing this very quickly, but in all fairness, um, what more is there to say other than just match the colors on the statue? I don't think uh, I don't think any one of you guys will have any problem doing this whatsoever. So just continuing doing this, and of course, once we have completed both sides of our statue, we can then move on to the final part of this statue, which will be the head. But for now. That is the second side of Freddy, absolutely identical to the first side. You wouldn't be able to tell which side is which. Once you've got that taken care of, once you have reached this point right here, you may need to pause this, I did do that quite quickly. You may be catching up a little bit. Once you have taken care of that, however, once you are at this point, it's time for us to put Freddy's head on his body. So come all the way to the front of your Freddy statue and come all the way up to the top of the torso. On top of the eight original blocks of the torso, these ones right here, you want to stack a row of eight brown wool. So just like this, a row of eight brown wool, like that. You then, once you have your row of eight brown wool, want to do two more rows directly in front of that row. So that's one and that's two. You then, building up on top of this second row, we're first of all going to make Freddy's entire face, building up on top of this first row, this is what you want to do for the second row. And we're just going to build this going from left to right, it'll be a little bit easier. So, for the second row, going from left to right, do one white wall, one black wall, one white wall, two black wall, one white wall, one black wall, one white wall. 
For the next row of Freddy's face, do an entire row of brown wool. For the next row, do two black wool in the two center spots of the row, and then fill the entire rest of your row in with brown. For the next row, do two brown wool in the two center spots of the row, do a single red either side of that brown, do a single white either side of the red, and then just throw brown on the ends of the row. Those are Freddy's eyes. Nice and creepy. For the next row, do two brown wool in the two center spots of the row, do a single brown on the ends of the row, and then do black wool just above the eyes to give you his creepy, creepy eyebrows. Once you've got that taken care of, you now for the next two rows want to do two solid rows of brown wool. So that's one and two. That is just about Freddy's face entirely taken care of. However, there is one thing that we have to do before we move on. So this is the front of Freddy's face. We just have to make a couple of changes to it. So come to the back of the face here. And where we have this second row here, place black behind where you have black on the front of the face. So just add a single black block behind each one of the black blocks that you have on the outer of the face. You also want to do the exact same thing for all of the blocks involved in Freddy's eyes. So the red, the white, and the black of Freddy's eyes. So you just want to have something which should look like this, coming towards the back of the head. Now, coming towards the front of the head again, coming all the way to the front, you now want to knock out these blocks. Basically, the blocks that you've just placed at the back of the head, you just want to knock them out of the front of the head so they kind of just sink in a little bit. Look how creepy that is. And I think you guys can see exactly why you'd want to do that. Doesn't that look about 10 times creepier just from doing that? His eyes are sunk in, you can actually see his teeth poking out now. And there you go, that is what you want to have for Freddy's entire face. Very creepy. Once you've got that taken care of, we can now go ahead and make the rest of Freddy's head. So, come all the way to the back of Freddy's head. And starting from the first row of brown wool that we placed to kick this off, you want to extend back this first row of brown wool until it overhangs the back of the statue by two rows. So let me just finish this and I'll show you what I mean. To give you guys a side view, you can now see that the back of the head overhangs the back of the statue by two rows, very much how the front of the statue, how the front of the head overhangs the front of the statue by two rows. And once you've done that, you then basically want to take the two back corners of the back of the head, raise them up, and then connect them to the front of the head. What we're essentially doing now is we're just turning Freddy's head into a big giant cube shape. We're then going to fill it in with brown wool, so as you guys can see, you just want to turn Freddy's head into a big giant brown cube and then proceed to just fill in every single one of the faces with brown wool and that is all you'll have to do for Freddy's head. Then we've got a couple of more things left to do and we will have finished our statue. They're not too difficult either so we'll just take care of the head. It's actually getting a little bit dark. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll show you guys this statue when it's completed with a bit of a dim light. Make it look a little bit creepier, maybe. Maybe put some torches in the eyes or something, I don't know. But uh, once you've finished completely filling in the head, as I've almost done, a little bit tedious, a little bit time-consuming, all we have to do is add Freddy's ears. And if you guys want to, the next bit after this is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit up to you. We can also give him a hat. So this is what you want to have for Freddy's head in its entirety. Look at that. That's a nice, creepy face, isn't it? It's actually getting a little bit dark, so I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a moment with a nice full day of daylight and we'll finish this statue off. So finish doing the head and then we can move on. Back in a mo. Alright guys, so once you've taken care of Freddy's head, we can now move on to Freddy's ears. So coming over to this side of Freddy's head and locating this block right here, it should be quite easy for you guys to find. You want to take out your black wool and you want to make this shape. You basically just want to place free black wool in that position, right there. You then, once you've done that with your black wool, want to just kind of like go around the outside of your black wool with your brown wool. That forms Freddy's left ear. 
Once you've got that taken care of, you now want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side of Freddy's head. So coming over to this side right here now, exact same thing, exact same position. So we start off with our three black blocks like that, kind of just hugging the corner of the top of Freddy's head. And then you just want to do your brown wool all around that black wool. And there you go, exact same position, exact same thing. And that should give you both of Freddy's ears. Nice and men menacing looking, look at that, nice and pointy, looking creepier by the second. And once you've taken care of the ears, this next bit is actually up to you. I'm not 100% sold on it, but It'll be individual, it's completely up to you. We're going to now make Freddy's hat. So, coming to the top of Freddy's head, you basically just want to trace along the top of Freddy's head with your black wool like this. And it's, it's kind of hard for me to describe what I'm doing, but you just want to like do a square of black wool on top of Freddy's head that is just one block shorter than the actual top of Freddy's head. See, it doesn't really make any sense, but you guys can see quite obviously what I've done there. And once you've done that, you now just want to do this with your black wool. You basically just want to do the exact same thing that we've just done to the top of Freddy's head, but now with the little square of black wool that we've made. And we just want to... We just want to... make this middle part of his hat in total three blocks high so just to show you guys it's a lot of this is it's a lot easier to show you rather than try and explain but you guys should be able to see quite easily what I've just done there to make Freddy's hat you just start off with that square that just sits on top of the head and then you just do the exact same thing with your black wool with the square and then you just want to build up the black wool that sits on top of the original square so that that is free that's one to three blocks high and then fill in the top and that will give you Freddy's hat. Again, I'm not 100% dead set on it, but that will be up to you. I'll leave it in the video, but I'm not sure which I prefer, hat or no hat. That will be your decision. And once you've done that, you will have fully completed your Freddy statue, I will tell you though. It does make him look a little bit creepier, the hat. I think the hat definitely adds to it. So let's whip off the UI and let's take a nice 360 degree view around our statue. Ah, oh. oh, I really do like this statue. It's not really a fantastic display of like design, but it really, it does do the job. It is a very, very creepy looking statue. It's, it's just the head. The head just looks completely Completely disturbing, with the sunken in eyes and the teeth all brazened and the red eyes. I wasn't sure what colour to make the eyes, by the way. I think Freddy actually has uh, blue eyes, but uh, I decided against it. I figured it'd be a lot creepier to give him some nice piercing red eyes, but there you go. That is your Freddy statue in its entirety. Very simple statue. Hopefully you guys have managed to make this no problem whatsoever. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.